He's that kid that where the other parents, you know, are with their kids, they look at yours and go, really? Right? He's, he's very easy and he's smart and interactive and affectionate. Grayson is a happy, active kid, but at only two, he's already spent more time in hospitals than most of us. He had open heart surgery at four days old and suffers from maple syrup urine disease, meaning he's missing an enzyme that deals with excess protein, something that will be toxic and deadly if left untreated. One, two, three. Good. Good job. So we have to give him the perfect amount of protein every day. That's the exact amount that his body needs for the day with zero overage. So we measure protein to two decimal places. Good job. He has his blood analyzed at least once a week. Last time he had his blood, or last year, sorry, he had his blood analyzed 62 times at the hospital. And then those numbers are rolled to his dietitian and to his metabolics doctor. So we use databases and spreadsheets to figure out how much banana or peas or yams to put on a scale to feed him. He can't have a gram more or a gram less. I just don't think we ever would have imagined the level of, it's not just the level of care like a professional care, but they have a real investment in, in our son and in all the children that go there. And I just don't think that that is the norm. I think that it's pretty exceptional. Grayson is a testament to the amazing advancements in recent years at Children's Hospital. Advancements made in large part thanks to funding from many people who will never meet these kids, but help nonetheless. In our day, those kids weren't around. And now there's an entire community of children who have never existed before in human history. And so that's what I think is important to me is that people stop referencing the way it was when they were a kid because it's such a disservice to the kids today. It's not the same world. You know, late night feeds or something and you're holding him and you think how amazing it is that he survived the first thing, never mind how well he's done through everything else. And uh, you just don't take for granted what got him here and, and what went into keeping him here. You know, it's. There's a lot of families like us who wouldn't have the opportunity to hold their, you know, have a late night feed with their kid. Grayson and his parents will continue their weekly visits at BC Children's Hospital and know as well as anyone its true value. I'm just proud to know these people and know that they care about your kid the way that they do and that they have such an investment in him. In Surrey, I'm Paul McClellan for Shaw. Okay.